fiscal responsibility. So you need to make sure there's enough fuel in the tank to get to your destination. And I think regardless of what the strategy is that you employ, you, you should be thinking about your household budget first and then the environment that we're heading into. And so it is like, a, it's a fascinating area to explore because when you look at the, I would even go back 40 years, are we going to see a continuation of lower highs and lower lows in, in terms of each interest rate cycle? Or are we seeing a, a, a tilt where there's a change in this long-term secular trend and we're going to see higher highs and higher lows with the next interest rate cycle? And maybe what we're at right now is kind of the low. We don't know that for sure. But when we think about how much money the government needs to borrow for things like infrastructure, defense, healthcare, and education, we know that there's probably going to be more demand for credit. And if there's more demand for something, then logically the price goes up. The price is the interest rate. So the question becomes, in my mind, well, is there going to be a non-homogenous interest rate market, let's call it that, where government can borrow at cheap rates, but you and me as mortgage holders, we actually have to suck it up and pay higher interest rates, kind of like a subsidy.